so now I'm in the 2000 and I guess this is a 2016 this is the Honda HRV V spec so this is considered the first batch model of the Honda HRV which is the pre facelift model so today I'm just going to do a very chill and silent test drive of it and this is also my first night drive video so if, if any if any uh, problems or any thing comes into the video I do apologize for any mistakes that I make so let's enjoy the drive of the Honda HRV so I'll just give you a brief info about this Honda HRV this is considered the second gen Honda HRV so the first gen are debuted back in 90s so which are very long ago this is considered a real modern Honda HRV so facts about this Honda HRV is it is based on the Honda Jazz platform which is a B segment hatchback so this is actually a B segment crossover I would say I can't consider it as a SUV because the ride height is considerably quite low so I would I would die I would this it this is as a they just it as a taller right height of the Honda Jazz. So how's the drive? So the drive is actually more refined than the Honda Jazz in my opinion due to a softer suspension setup. So now let's take some mountain road and see how this car handles. So the interior are largely similar to the Honda Jazz the meter cluster are very similar but this one is finished in monochrome alright so the, here are the infotainment touch screen these are the touch panel air conditioning personally it is very futuristic but in terms of the user friendliness I will prefer to have a physical button so now let's put into S and, and the gun. Okay, so you do feel the car is a bit uh, wobbly due to a little bit taller right height. And this car is considerably, considerably wider than the Honda Jazz. So you may feel more body roll. Alright, so the front is using McPherson suspension. The rear are using torsion beam. So the rear are expected to be more bumpier. So now I'm just gonna silent and let you enjoy the interior ambience of this Honda HRV and this ring of the meter will change color over time so it's one of the interesting facts about this Honda HRV so during 80 km per hour cruising is actually quite comfortable and the suspension sort of absorb the undulation on this small road quite well brake quite choppy in my opinion I would expect the brake to be more linear more gradual 